Is this an earthquake? Yo! Is this an earthquake? Is this an earthquake? Yo! Is this an earthquake? Yo, what the f Yo, am I in an earthquake? Yo, my house is shaking. Yo, what the There was a freaking earthquake in Tribeca. The entire building just moved. Not just ours, everyone's outside. The pictures on the walls were shaking and uh, I felt the rumble for about Maybe three seconds, four seconds. I experienced grounds rumbling in the past in uh, upstate New York. And I just spoke to my daughter, and, and she's in Massachusetts, Connecticut border, and they, 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 they felt it as well. I felt it, but almost I was so busy. When the super called me, tell me, David, did you feel it? And then that's what I said, yeah, I felt something. Uh, at first, I thought there was like maybe an like explosion above me or like they were doing construction or something it felt like potentially like the roof would come in on me it was like pretty weird and scary uh, so i was like i should probably go outside um there there was a tremor in the building uh tremors i should say and the building shook and i thought that the ceiling above me was gonna collapse actually um and as i was telling sean before i'm not trying to be melodramatic i did think that maybe the building was gonna fall down uh, for a second, and I wanted to get out of the building when I when I felt that. That's Alexa. Thank you. Videos are pouring in just hours after an earthquake rattled this northeast rattled the northeast this morning. This is video from New Jersey. You can see a dog looking very confused as the walls shake. The United States Geological Survey says the 4.8 earthquake centered in New Jersey, just 40 miles west of New York City. What the hell? I'm having an earthquake. Holy f As you can tell by that person's reaction, earthquakes pretty rare up there. The video is from eastern Pennsylvania. Officials are working to find out if anyone was injured. The quake, the USGS says, was either a 4.7 or 4.8. Tonight, with the breaking news, the aftershocks felt just moments ago in New York City and beyond after that earthquake hit this morning, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake that struck at 1023 this morning in White House Station, New Jersey, right between New York City and Philadelphia. These aftershocks moments ago registering a 4.0, almost as big as the earthquake itself. Now, the earthquake this morning rocking millions from Maryland right up to Maine, triggering confusion at first and then alarm ground stops at New York airports. The epicenter in New Jersey, some 40 miles west of New York City, 60 miles north of Philadelphia, the strongest in the area, 
in more than 100 years. You can see the shaking in the live stream from the EarthCam webcam right at the top of the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. That was quite something. And the rumbling. You can see it and hear it in this home in Middlesex, New Jersey. Pictures shaken off the walls, falling to the floor. A startled dog jumping from the window on the back of the couch there. Customers rushing out of a coffee shop. This was in Boonton, New Jersey. And the moment of confusion during a live streamed event from New Jersey, taking off the headset there, not knowing what was going on. In Newark tonight, three buildings evacuated and condemned after suffering serious damage right during the earthquake. And as I mentioned off the top tonight, the aftershocks just moments ago. So senior meteorologist Rob Marciano is standing by in all of this and what could still be coming. And ABC's Trevor Alt leading us off in Newark tonight. Tonight, millions in the Northeast on alert for aftershocks after a 4.8 magnitude earthquake rattled much of the eastern seaboard. The quake striking at 1023 this morning, centered about 45 miles west of New York City in White House Station, New Jersey. Our New York Station WABC broadcasting live, taking calls from alarmed viewers near the epicenter. We were sitting on a couch and we originally thought that something exploded outside. Wow. Um, then it started shaking very, very, very violently. Um, I mean, this explosion was near deafening. It was, it was nuts. Um, and then we went outside on the deck after it kind of settled down. You could feel the deck railing really shaking like a jackhammer. It's the strongest quake to hit the Garden State since the 1700s, lasting more than 30 seconds. I thought it was like a truck driving past because sometimes my house will shake from that. And then I realized that can happen from a truck. So I called my mom. I was like, Mom, is this an earthquake? She started screaming. She's like, get outside, get outside. <laughs> That's the new moon. So I just explained it to you in a nutshell. Now, if you roll up on any of these individuals in the IUIC and you explain that to them, they won't see it because they don't use their brains. They turn their brains off. They just receive instruction and then regurgitate it. I just, I just explained it to you in a few words. I made it crystal clear. That the new moon is when the moon is dark. And then they'll go to, what is that, uh, Psalms, Psalms, uh, I think it's 81 and 3, if I'm not mistaken, or 80, I think it's 81 and 3, I'm not going to go to it. They break that wrong. They don't understand, see the, the full moon, see, and the, and the new moon, which is the full, they don't understand it, they don't understand the scriptures. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Shit was shaking. It felt like a damn earthquake. The whole fucking apartment was shaking. Let's hope it's not an earthquake. Anyway. I'm in the midst of doing the work of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, so. Hmm, more an earthquake, bro. The whole fucking building shook. It rumbled, like, for about three seconds. Never felt, never felt nothing like that. It's the whole fucking place shook. Yeah, how about shit now, Shy? Repar, yeah. Uh, Washamar, yeah. Okay.
All right, Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace salutations unto the hopeful, uh, unto the hopeful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yawasap. All right, and the topic. All right, y- y'all should know what topic I'm I'm, I'm going to talk about this evening. All right, and and that's regarding for for those of y'all that that are, are already in the know, and 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 you saw, felt, and heard what happened uh um 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 um, um early Friday morning. Now you know what I'm getting ready to talk about. Basically, I became inspired, all right, and 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 the topic for it will be omen. Earthquake shakes things up before April 8th e- eclipse. All right. So I'm I'm calling it an omen. Once again, the topic is omen. Earthquake shakes things up before April 8th eclipse, all right? And that's exactly what some other brothers, uh, particularly one of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, I was watching one of his shows uh, just yesterday after after the first tremor hit, uh, Apostle Elder Gabar, uh, he called it an omen all right, uh, he called it an omen because it, it it took place it took place prior to to Monday's eclipse, which is only two days from now. All right. So, for those of us who are in this truth, all right, the Lord had already told us. All right, those of us who are in this know. I'm like the majority of people out there, all right? So he told us to be sober and be vigilant, all right? And, and you know, and, and, and to walk circumspectly, all right? Not, not as fools, but as wise, all right? The Lord said that through the words of Apostle Paul in the, in the book of Ephesians 5, all right? Uh, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And these are, without a shadow of a doubt, the most evil times that that this earth has ever seen, that anyone else has ever seen, including myself. It's always been an evil world. It's always been, uh, you know, a violent world out there. But now, now it's, 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 it's just... Everything is, is, is just more intense, and a lot more intensified, all, all right? You, 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 you go into a New York City subway station, regardless of, of whether or not they have a, a fucking uh, National Guard troops in there now, uh, you know, you, you basically got to pray up if, if you walk into them subway stations, man. Because you don't know if, if you might make it all alive or not. That's how bad it's getting. That, that's, hey, that, that, that's how intense everything else is getting out there, man. All right? So so the Lord is, 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 the Lord is manifesting himself. All right? What happened yesterday was really only a, a warning of his visitation. All right? It, it was only a, a, you know what I'm saying? It, it was a, 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 a trumpet of the alarm, as mentioned in, in the in, in the book of Amos, which Lord willing, I, I might start, I will start with that real shortly. I have a, I have a list of scriptures here that go hand in hand, all right, with this topic or what happened yesterday. All right, and you know what I'm saying, and 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 what's going to happen after that? All right, because the the Lord is clearly showing signs. All right, 
of his coming visitation. He's going to He's going to shake this whole planet Earth up in, in a very, in a very cruel and dramatic fashion. If y'all thought that yesterday's little shake was something, well, y'all ain't really seen nothing yet, all right? Y'all ain't seen nothing yet because uh, the Heavenly Father is getting ready to show who's really got the power in these last days. Uh, he's, and he's going to do it in, in a very magnificent and otherworldly way, all right? Because y'all y'all people out there like thinking you've been conditioned to think that, that this so-called white man is God, that he's got the power, all right, that he's got this so-called technology and, and this and that bullshit going, all right? But the, the Most High, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, is getting ready to show you people of the world real soon, all right, that the real power is He, all right? I am God and there is none else. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, all right? That's also in the scriptures. That's why this white man is trying to, to make the Bible illegal now. And there's always been prop, there's always been warnings given to you by 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 great Melstone and other brothers about that. That goes hand in hand also with these last with these last days, man. All right, the Esau is gonna try and and and, and prohibit people from even reading this this Bible because he knows that it condemns him and his race. It condemns his world, all right? It forecasts doom, destruction, and chaos for his world, all right? That's why he's trying to come up with laws to, to ban the Bible, to, to, stop, to stop brothers from being on the highways and, and, and hedges, to keep brothers like myself from doing these here sit-downs, you best believe our enemies are working on that right now, man. All right, but the more the more the more Esau pushes his buttons, the more the the the, the more the Most High pushes his, man. Plain and simple. All right. So so basically, um, so you know, I I don't know how long the that this segment might run and, and might last uh, your your typical hour and may last less than an hour and, and may and may last a little more than an hour but Lord willing I, I hope it gets to be edifying all right so I'm, so to get things got uh, popping I'm gonna start with Amos three and six all right Amos three and six. Okay, let's get there real quick. A Amos 3 and 6 now, all right? Okay, just bear with me a moment. All right, here we go, Blue Letter Bible. All right. Just bear with me, you know. Uh, for, for those that watch my shows, so y'all know that I I usually go through situations like this. Every time I try to do these sit downs, these demons are at work, boy. You know what I'm saying? All right, now. Okay. All right, so so basically, uh, I'm trying to get, get get over the scripture. All right, but you know, but basically, as uh, as 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 I get ready to bring this out, you know, uh, for for those of you that 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 may have felt and experienced it, uh, I can share 
I can make a, 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 a quick rundown of where I was when when the first rumble happened shortly um, shortly before 10 to 10 30 in the morning is when this thing happened right and I was I was sitting in my bed across from my computer uh, monitor in this very room all right my my bedroom the, the, from here is where I do my my sit downs and all that right I was on YouTube right and precisely I, I was I was I was it, it was after 10 in the morning so I was getting ready I was getting ready to uh, to go to YouTube to check out a, a brother's channel a brother's video and and I had the apostles and elders on, on my mind all right so I I tried going to their channel right and right at that particular moment, before I ever even hit hit on the on, on the damn thumbnail, all right, that's when I felt the, this 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 rattling noise and and you know what I'm saying and right right before I was thinking of of of, of reaching for the thumbnail, right, I was still yet sitting in my bed. That's when I heard that rumbling, all right, and 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 it's and, and it's been really. It's been really, uh, it's been a very long time since since I ever first heard uh, 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 an earthquake rumble in this city, because it's it's been over forty years now, since nineteen eighty five. All right, I was still pretty much a kid and still in high school. All right, I remember feeling the the the, the first the first rumble. One 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 early. I, I think it was a, a, a. I don't remember well if, if it was a Saturday or Friday morning. It would be quite a coincidence if it was a Friday morning. But it was not in April. I tell you that it, it was in October. That much I remember, of '85. All right, when 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 I heard the first rumble and I was just waking up that morning. All right, and, and 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 the whole apartment shook. All right, and and that's the same way the the place I live in now shook. But luckily, not, nothing nothing fell or hit the floor or nothing. You understand what I'm saying? But it, it was still a significant shake. And for those of y'all who may have lived that moment, all right, you would feel the same way. You 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 would react the same way. All right, that it was a, a significant shakeup. All right, and, and hey, that, that that's the most time, man. All right, and then later, and then later in the afternoon, by early evening, right around six, right, the the the, the, the I, I I kept feeling them aftershocks here, man. All right, but right around six 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 p.m. as I was having dinner, right. I felt an, another minor aftershock, all right? And then, funny enough, later in the evening, all right, like, like around 7 or so, all right, I was watching a movie, right? All right, and interestingly, I was watching the movie 2012, all right? And, and right in between that movie, all right, it was around 8 p.m. or so. I still felt the living room shaking, man. All right. So, 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 so things were 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 a bit. Were still a bit. Uh, things were still pretty intense for a while, even in the early evening, man. All right. But basically, by 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 9 p.m. or so, all them shakings were over, man. All right. But that goes to show you the Most High ain't playing, man. All right? He's not playing with you people down here, man. All right? He's getting ready to do the most inexplicable, you know what I'm saying? The most inexplicable, all right? Inexplicable to this white man's so-called science. All right? He, he, he's getting ready to do things that 
that would just make you people marvel and 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 be horrified at the same time, man. That's why he's called the King of Terrors. All right. The Apostle Paul, all right, in, in the book of Corinthians, if I'm not mistaken, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, all right? Okay, so there you go now. So let me start with Amos, all right? Okay, Amos 3 and 6, all right? And we're just going to get right down to it, all right? I'm going to read scripture after scripture after this one. Amos 3 and 6, all right? Yeah. Here we go again with the, tech, the technical difficulties and shit. Just bear with me a moment. All right, so I'm on Amos 3 now, all right? Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? All right? So indeed, indeed what happened yesterday morning in New York City and throughout the East Coast, all right? Because I even heard a few people say that, 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 that this thing was even felt as far as Boston, allegedly, and Massachusetts, and even as far down as Florida. All right, so the Most High, well, you know, he sent he sends them angels out to blow that trumpet, man. All right, so the so that so so this so this minor this minor earthquake, right? That that was really a trumpet blown in the city. And there were plenty of people that were that were already afraid. All right, they, they were shaken up by that, man. All right, so that's why it's that. That's why the Most High Hims, That's why the prophet is asking rather sarcastically, rather sarcastically, right? Because the Most High Himself can be pretty sarcastic. You best better believe that. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, in the city and the Lord have not done it? All right. So, so that, that, that little earthquake was also evil. All right. It was also evil. But the most time for now has chosen to spare. At least for now, he chose to spare people's lives in this here city, all right? Because if he had wanted to, it would have been an even more evil day indeed, all right? Can you imagine if, if that little tremor would, would have been passed, you know, 4.8 and gone up to at least 5.8, 5, 5 man, all right? Half the buildings would have been knocked down already with plenty of casualties, all right, so 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 there's a reason why the Most High chose. All right, that's why He chose to to make it seem like like just a little shake for now. All right, okay, plain and simple. All right, so once again, Amos three and six: Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord have not done it? Because the Lord is behind both good and evil. All right? It goes on to, to tell you this in, in the book of Isaiah. All right? I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. All right, so there you go, man. The, the, the Lord himself said that. The Lord, he ain't called the most high for nothing. He can boast and brag all he wants because he's the supreme being, plain and simple. All right? The white man is, 
the white man tries hard to play the role of God on this earth. All right? But he could never reach, he could never reach that same level. Not, not once in his existence, man. All right? Plain and simple. Now, let me just show you this image here real quick if I, you know, if, if, if no demon gets in the way or nothing. All right. So so for those of you that that might be watching, uh, you you know and, and you know you, you was there, and you felt what you felt yesterday. The, these are just a a few images here that that I wanted to show on on on, on the Google display. All right. Okay, right right there is a picture of a. Uh, what appears to be several people walking around on, on the right side of the screen. Uh, they seem to be in downtown Manhattan or something. All right, and, and right in the middle, there's there, there's a marquee display that, that, that reads, Yankees feel earthquake. Keep preparing to, all right, yada, yada, yada. All right, and right below the picture, Magnitude 4.8 shakes New York City, northeast U.S. All right? And you best better believe I, I was one of those that really felt that shaking, man. All right? Now, let me move on to this image real quick, which caught my attention from the New York Post, right? Let me just let, let me just try and have access to this image real quick, and then Lord willing, I'll move on to the rest of the scriptures for this here night. All right, so uh, let's see now what we got here. All right. Okay, the New York Post. The Earth moved for us. All right, that's what that says. The earth moved. For, for those of you that can watch it, it's on the left side of the screen. All right, I'm trying to click on it, but, but demons are getting in the way right now. All right. Yeah, that, 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 there, is, there is a better, there goes a much better display for you right there, the, the uh, the New York Post, the earth moved for us. All right. And you see an image of, 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 of the Statue of Liberty. All right. Uh, like, like, like reacting to, to the big shakeup. All right. It, it says on the headline, Tri-State all shook up by biggest quake in 140 years. So there you go, man. That 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 was no minor thing. What happened yesterday? All right. And call Hala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, like I said earlier. All right. He chose to spare lives in this city for now. All right. Okay. He chose to spare lives in this city for the moment. All right. But but he but hey. Ain't no telling what, what could happen come come Monday, man. We still got that solar eclipse coming. All right? And on top of that, uh, this so-called white man here by way of NASA is thinking of, of firing a couple of rockets. And, 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 and uh, they're, they're going to fire a couple of rockets and, and inside the, 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 the damn solar eclipse as it takes place. All right, that they, they, they claim that it's for scientific research of purposes. All right, what, what what's the real purpose of that, man? All right, so there you go. All right, so let's move on with the scriptures again. All right, Lord willing. All right, I'm gonna go to Isaiah 29 now. All right. All right, 
just bear with me a moment. All right. Isaiah 29, all right, and Lord William, I'll read the sixth verse, Isaiah 29 and 6, all right. Okay, so this is the book of Isaiah, it's a lock -in. Salakia. Once again, you gotta understand I wrestle with 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 with, with you know I, I wrestle with some negative energy here. Uh, evil spirits that 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 try to cause distractions. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Isaiah 29 and, and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake, all right? And with earthquake, that, 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 that's a key word right there. That's a key word, earthquake, all right? How, how, that the, how did the Lord, how did the Most High, the creator of heaven and earth, visited the East Coast? of these United States of America yesterday, all right? He did that in the form of a 4.8 earthquake, all right? So thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, all right? With plenty of, 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 of these thunderstorms, all right? But people get scared of, 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 of even hearing that sometimes, all right? Like a roaring, like a roaring from from the heavens, man. All right, okay. So so that's how the Lord uh, visits people, and and these different parts of of, of so-called United States, man, by ways of thunder, the, the thunderstorms, tornadoes, okay, the tornadoes, all right. Of, 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 of various other type of storms, all right, and earthquakes, all right, and great noise with storm and tempests, all right, and the flame of devouring fire, okay. And 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 how does he do that? The the flame of devouring fire, all right. The ultimate devouring fire is yet to come by way of those nuclear weapons, all right? But the flame of devouring fire could also could also apply, it could also apply, if I'm not mistaken, to many of these wicked people whom the Lord causes to lose their homes by means of a, of, of a, of a by, by means of a big fire, all right? A fire broke out, uh, 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 unstoppable. All right, you gotta you you, you gotta call the, the the firemen for it, okay? The fire department, all right, okay. And 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 then these people end up losing their homes, man. Why? Because they were wicked, and the Lord provided judgment. All right, all these people that that most of these people, I I can't say all of them, but. But most of these people you see on the news lose their homes by, by way of, of a fire. It's because they're being judged by the supreme being, all right, for, for whatever, whatever wicked act they have done in the past or present. Plain and simple, man. All right? So once again, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. All right, earthquake. All right, New York City yesterday, and and the and the whole East Coast got shaken up by the Most High by means of an earthquake, 
and, and almost everybody felt that, including my damn self. All right? And great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, man. So there you go now. All right? All right. Moving on forward. All right? Second Esdras now. Let's see if I can go there real quick. Second Esdras 9. All right? Let's see if I could find that here. That, that that's really in the apocryphal. All right. So second Esdras nine. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right. All right, we're on 2nd Esdras 9 now in the Apocrypha. All right, going to read verses 1 through 3, and it, and it reads this. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right? So we are living in that time now where the highest is getting ready to visit the world which he made. Okay? Who really made this world? the most high power, the supreme being. A lot of you seem to think that it was the so-called white man that made this world. Absolutely not. As much as he likes to play the role of God, all right, the only thing the, the, the white man did, all right, was, was conquer the planet Earth off the dark races, all right, and rule it in wickedness and tyranny. That's been his main contribution, all right? He did not create the planet Earth, all right? Right now, he's only ruling the planet Earth, and he's getting ready to lose that rulership real soon. That, 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 that's why the Lord is passing all these signs, man. That's why he shook this place the hell up yesterday, all right? As a sign of his second coming, all right? Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right? The world which he made and is getting ready to give back to his chosen people. All right? And who are his chosen people? The Israelites. All right? Us so-called people of color here in white man's America so-called white man's America, all right? His, his true skin color is red, not white. His blood shows forth through his damn skin, man, okay? And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Genesis, the 25th chapter, man, and the 25th verse, all right? Plain and simple, man. Okay, verse 3. Therefore, when these shall be seen, all right, Salakia. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, there goes that word earthquakes again, all right? All right? 
believe it or not, for those of you that might be in the know, you should know that the word earthquake is, is almost throughout the whole Bible, man. All right? It's almost, it, 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 it's mentioned halfway throughout the book. All right? The Lord himself also mentioned the word earthquake in, in the book of Matthew, which I'm getting ready to go there real shortly. All right? So, so, so these things were spoken of more than 2,000 years ago, man. And we are living them times now when these things are already manifesting, all right? And as, and, and as the great apostle Elder Tahar himself would say, these prophecies are now popping up like popcorn, all right? So when there shall be seen earthquakes, and there goes that word earthquake again, earthquakes and uproars, of the people in the world. Okay? Okay? Uproars. We are living in that time right now. <coughs> All right? We are living in that time right now. Uproars of the people. The people are upset at how they're, they're being ruled by in this world. And they're going to get even more upset once that dollar bill crashes, man. And all hell will really break loose then. And they're going to have to call call in their martial law and all that. Have people be detained and so on. Man. All right? I'm going to read verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand. <clears throat> all right? Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. All right? Even from the beginning. All right? So so pretty much I, I, I said something about that a little while ago. All right? These things were already uh, pre predicted. They were prophesied and spoken about that many years ago, man. All right? Plain and simple. Now I'm going to go to the book of Matthew, all right? Matthew 24, all right? Matthew, all right, let, let, let me just jump back to Blue Letter. I'll look for it here, all right? Matthew 24, and I'm going to read, I'm going to read verse 7. Okay? And these were the words from, from Yahweh Shai himself, so-called Jesus. His name ain't no Jesus, all right? For you black people that like calling him Jesus, all oh, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, oh, all right. A sweet Jesus, Jesus Christ. I love my Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that. His name is Yahweh Shai. All right. And, and the Hebrew, Lashawan Kadash. All right. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is his real name. All right. And these are the words that he spoke Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation. All right. Well, hey, we're living in that time already, all right? It's not Russia against Ukraine, all right? It's not, it's not um, uh, Israel against Palestine, all right? We got, we got all, all, all these different uh, wars being set up, leading to the, leading to the, 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 the mother to end all wars. World War Three, man. Okay, and, and the Valley of Decision, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, mentioned in, in, in Joel, the third chapter. Okay? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Okay? The, the Lord is brewing up famine in these last days. 
all right? Uh, food supplies purposely being destroyed, all right? Food supplies and, and food factories purposely being destroyed, all right? Uh, cattle, livestock, and, and poultry being currently uh, uh, affected by some new uh, avian flu disease I found out. So many of, of, of these animals that, that, that people depend on for food are going to be destroyed, man. So what you think is going to come out of that? All right. Uh, I also heard that I, 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 I found out from this source this past week, all right, that a, a major egg producing company and 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 these United States of America, a a major egg producing company, a, a factory that that distributes eggs, is going to shut down. All right, look that up on Google. You you see that I'm not making this up. Look it up on Google. Look it up on YouTube. I did not get the full blown information. I only I only heard. I only heard some minor words of it, all right? But it's going to go down, man, all right? So there shall be famines and pestilences, okay? Pestilences, all right? And earthquakes in diverse places. There goes that word earthquake again. Like I said before, the word earthquake is, is, is in halfway... Oh, it's, it's in almost the entire Bible, man. All right? It, 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 it's in halfway of, of, of these books that you read, giving you warning of, of the times that we live in. All right? Okay? These were the words from, from the Lord himself now. Earthquakes in diverse places. All right? So, so New York City... The whole East Coast got rattled up, shaken up yesterday. And the funny thing is, just days prior to that, there was a real major earthquake in Taiwan, in China. All right? They got shaken up over there, man, big time. The, the, building, the building's falling down on them. All right? So there you go, man. All right. Now. Okay. Let's go. Let's let's see if I can find the book of Haggai now. All right. Haggai. All right. Okay. Just bear with me a moment. This book also has to be part of the Apocrypha. Haggai. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Let me just type it here then. All right, I found it. Haggai 2 and 6, okay? And it says this, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, and the sea and the dry land. All right, so there you go. These are the words of, of, 
of the Supreme Himself, the Supreme Being Himself speaking, man. And I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. All right? That's what happened with the East Coast yesterday, man. It got shaken up. It got rattled up. All right? M many of these so-called white people out there were, were, were bugging the hell out already, man. All right? Many of them said, what the fuck is that? All right? Okay? Because they, they are not in tune with this truth. They are not in tune with these scriptures. All right? And everybody else that, including the, 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 the wicked of our people, they reacted the same way. Because these people are in gross darkness, man. They don't have that light of knowledge in them, all right, that the Most High chose to give only to certain brothers. All right? Plain and simple now. All right? So let me go to Jeremiah now. All right? Perhaps I, perhaps I can jump back to Blue Letter, all right, and go, and go, go back to, uh, go back to Blue Letter and, and and go to Jeremiah, Jeremiah the fiftieth chapter. I'm gonna read a few verses off of that, and then Lord Swill, I'll finish with the Book of Isaiah, forty seventh chapter. So this is Jeremiah 50. I'm going to scroll down and read verses 22 on up. And it says this, Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. Okay, so once again, okay, a sound of battle is in the land. And of great destruction, of great destruction, man. Okay? For the majority of you that thought that the Bible was just a, 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 a sweet, tender book of love and all that, nah. It's a book of many, of many different emotions, all right? It's a book of many different happenings and so on, man. Okay, it's a book that chronicles the life of the Israelites. All right, past, present, and future. It chronicles the life of the Edomites, the so-called white man. His past, all right, his present, and his future, man. And, and his future is what? All right, a sound of battle is in the land. And of great destruction. All right. So, so we could say that 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 little shakeup yesterday in New York City and throughout the, the East Coast, right? That was really a metaphor. All right, a sign for a sound of battle. Great destruction is coming for this whole place. Okay, from from New York all the way to California. Great destruction is coming for, for this place. Not saith me, saith the Lord, man. Saith the Lord himself, the, the, the creator of heaven and earth, has forecast that this place go down in great destruction. All right? Right now we are living in the midst of the beginning of World War III. With, with Iran once again being mentioned, in the news that is threatening the, 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 the U.S., I heard er, earlier this morning, all right? They put out special bulletins that that the U.S. is getting ready for a, a possible uh, retaliation by Iran, all right, because of what was done to them a few days ago or a few weeks ago, what happened to them in their country, all right? So that's why the scripture here is saying a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, of great destruction, man. What happened yesterday 
was only a warning, a, a, a warning of what's yet to happen, of what's yet to come. For those of y'all that think that that so-called 9-11 was something, all right, which was already 20 years ago, all right? Y'all ain't seen nothing yet, all right? Plain and simple, okay? Now, verse 23, all right? Verse 23, how is the hammer of the, old, of the whole earth cut asunder and brought? All right, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? And, 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 and who carries that hammer right now to hammer us down all? The so-called white man, man, Esau. He bears that, that hammer of tyranny against us so-called people of color in this country and the rest of the planet earth right now, man. The most high is getting ready to break down that hammer. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon? Babylon is is, is uh, Babylon is, a, is is another name for so-called America, man. America is modern Babylon. Okay, so how is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Okay, that's what's getting ready to happen. All right. Verse 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. Thou wast not aware. Thou art found and art also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. See, there you go. Verse 25, the Lord hath opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord, power of hosts, in the land of the Chaldeans. Once again, the land of the Chaldeans represents the U.S. of A, Amer America, all right? It represents America, okay? Plain and simple. Babylon is another name for what? America. The Lord is getting ready to cast judgment on what? America. So you can understand. All right. Good old America. All right. There you go, now. All right. Isaiah 47 and 3, now. Lord willing, I'll end it with that. All right. So this is Isaiah 47, all right, and I'll, and I'll read and finish it with the third verse. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So that's, that, that, that's the Lord giving warning to this so-called white man, all right? Give me warning to the so-called white man, all right, that he will take vengeance. And, uh, and, uh, and upon his second coming, he will not meet this so-called human race as a man. He will come back as a, as a very powerful extraterrestrial angelic force, all right? And the so-called white man, all right, and the other nations are gonna are gonna try and gather their little armies together, their little army and navy forces, uh, air force and what have you. They're gonna try and engage, to engage the higher power in battle, man. And they're gonna lose miserably, according to the to the prophecy foretold, and, and Revelation the seventh chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Revelation to 12 and 7, right? And Michael and the angels fought against the dragon and the dragon and his angels, all right? And 2nd and Esther, the, the, the 13th chapter, 
which which gives you a, a full a full rundown of this so-called alien invasion that's coming. That 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 that's one of the the, the key so-called alien invasion scriptures right there, Second Esdras, the thirteenth chapter. Okay? Where 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 it 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 it, 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 it specifies how they're going to try and engage in battle with the Lord, all right? Though they were sore afraid, yet they durst fight, all right? And, 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 and once they durst fight, then they're going to try and, 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 and engage uh, uh, forces that, that, that are coming from, from another dimension, man, all right? And they're going to lose miserably. And they're going to become ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That's why the Lord gave full warning here. All right? I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Plain and simple, man. He's coming back as an angelic force real shortly. All right? So, Kahalah Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakadash. Shalom.